ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Once again, oh my God. Daddy Diddy. Papa Diddy is trending on social media. So if you guys don't know, uh, Diddy took to social media the other day on Halloween to basically blast Warner Brothers Studio. Um, he's claiming that they're trying to control him. They don't want him to be great. They're saying that he's not allowed to wear a Joker costume. So a lot of people were like really, you know, like feeling bad for him and saying, oh, this is racism and they're picking on Diddy. Child. But you know, I'm gonna I'm get to the bottom of the situation. Anytime Diddy speaks, I feel like it's a bunch of nonsense in the background. So we're going to go ahead and watch what Diddy had to say. He claims that Warner Brothers banned him from wearing the Joker costume. Let me find that clip here. Give me just a second. Okay. So this was the article that was up. Um, basically, Diddy dressed up as Batman for Halloween after claiming Warner Brothers banned him from being the Joker. So we're going to watch... Um, this was his breaking news on social media. So we're gonna watch what Diddy has to say here. Breaking Halloween news, breaking Halloween news. Last year after I did the Black Joker, I got a bunch of emails from the studio telling me to not be the Joker anymore that I was breaching um, the trademark. And so, I don't know what I'm going to be this year. But I will say to the motherfucker that took all this time, you talking about sending me this six full papers. I'm not even going to show the business on the papers. But to tell me not to be the Joker, I want to tell you, you win. I'm not going to be the Joker this year. Just because your ass had enough time to fuck up my motherfucking Halloween. Now watch me. Okay, let me come back on the screen, child. All right, so basically he's upset. He's in his feelings. Um, give me just a second here. I, I, I hope y'all got y'all's tiny violins, okay? So he's up here and, and people are like, oh, that's racism. You know, how can they, you know, say that he can't be the Joker? You don't control what people are for Halloween. And when I saw this going viral, I just put out my tiny violin. I didn't give a shit. I'm like, he's full of crap. He's not telling the full story, okay? So a lot of y'all who were crying tattoo tears for him on social media, and y'all wanted to cancel Warner Brothers, and y'all was, you know, claiming it was racism. Let me remind y'all of what Diddy did last year. This is why Warner Brothers was upset. It wasn't just him walking around as the Joker, because again, we can all be whatever we want to be for Halloween. That is the point of Halloween. The problem is that th this is where he's not being honest. He was pitching his liquor line. He was pitching his tequila in the Joker costume. He made it he made it an entire advertisement. See, one thing about, you know, Lovely TTV, we keep receipts, we don't forget shit. If y'all remember, this was him last year on Halloween, you know, bragging about being a black owned liquor company. This didn't age well. So let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and share this with y'all. So this was last year. Tonight we will party and celebrate the world's new number one tequila. 
Make me free! Would you like to be free? We did we sing! Everybody dance! Everybody dance! <laughs> You ready to start the party? <laughs> Delion Tequila, owned by a black man. Oh, that did not age well. Talking about some damn Delion Tequila, owned by a black man. Only a year later for us to find out he did not own it. He's basically a glorified influencer like myself. He was the face of Ciroc and all these liquor brands, but he did not really own stake in it. Hence why, you know, he tried to sue them and now they're suing him. And this is whole back and forth in court. So, you know, all the black folks getting up in, you know, arms against Warner Brothers and saying this is racist. How dare they try and check Diddy? Diddy was not being honest. That is the reason why they, they, basically sent that letter because that was copyright infringement and Diddy should know better because again let me refresh y'all's memory for all you guys who were born you know in the early 2000s okay back when we were kids he made a song called I'll Be Missing You with Faith Evans it was an ode to Biggie Smalls he took the song from Sting's Police and just thought he could just use the beat and have, uh, have Faith sing on the beat and you know Sting would be cool with it well, he ended up getting sued, and Diddy gets no money from the song Missing You. I'll be missing you. He gets no money. All of that money goes to Sting because Diddy never got permission. So you would think that he would have learned his lesson because I think, like, Sting makes, like, $2 million a year or something. I don't know. From the song. He makes a lot of money from I'll be missing you. So you would have thought that he would have, you know what I'm saying, learned his lesson, but obviously not. You cannot use somebody else's creation or likeness and use it to promote your own brand. So he was not being honest. So tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Quit lying and looking for sympathy, Diddy, okay? Um, another thing that's so funny about that whole situation with him lying about this is he was saying that, you know, it's a black-owned liquor company, and then we find out, you know, he does not own it, and it's not black-owned, you know, it, it's owned by a whole nother brand and like I said he's an influencer so this year he decided to be Batman um he decided to play it cute he had his daughter in the video and stuff like that but what I don't understand is just imagine this imagine if I took the bad boy logo y'all know that you know bad boy imagine if I just took the logo and was just using it like just you know this is my brand I'm gonna promote my t-line with his brand he would sue He'd be like, you can't promote your T-line using the bad boy logo. So I don't see how he can get offended because Warner Brothers is like, we own that character. We own the Joker and you cannot do what you did. That was straight up copyright infringement. We didn't give you permission to dress like the Joker to promote your tequila line. So Warner Brothers was all the way in the right in that one because Diddy wouldn't have not allowed that if somebody used the bad boy logo to further, you know what I'm saying, their business. So this is not a case of racism. This is a case of Diddy once again crying and trying to play victim, okay? So, yeah, I felt no ways. I When I saw his video, I pulled out my tiny violin. I'm like, okay, this dude must have forgot that we were here last year when you were promoting your liquor line dressed as the Joker, okay? So anything for attention, child. Anything for attention. <laughs> If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sir, your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.